This is a demonstration about how to track a shot that's both underwater and above water. So the important thing to know is that the refractive index in air is 1 and the refractive index in water is 1.33. So when you're underwater you effectively have a longer focal length. But for this shot where we've got both underwater and above water at the same time we're not going to use two different lenses. What we're going to do is we're going to scale this set inside here so we can add in some computer generated eels. So we can see that we've got a nice lineup on the above water section but we actually don't care about that. That's just a means to an end. What we want to do is line up underwater. So what we've done is we took our camera with all of its translations and rotations and focal length and we just duplicated it with this special script although you don't need this to accomplish this. So we've got the same animation. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this scene node part of Pacha Nudge 3D tool. Then what we're going to do is you can see we've got two cameras here. So I'm actually going to pick the wrong one. Okay, so now I'm going to move the underwater camera. Keep on picking the one. Okay. So we see that the path is being translated around and what we want to do is we want to line up this point here. Now this point is the passive point that we did underwater. And because it's got all these ripples, it's not a very exact point, but it's going to be good enough for this lineup that we want to do. So we go in here. What we want to do is take this here and again translate the entire scene. So things line up nicely. But just on that pivot point there. So we get this. Okay, so that's lining up fairly well there. But then the problem is on the right side it doesn't line up. So then what we do is that we take this point here, we select it, and we'll pick that as a pivot point. And that enters in right here, 91 in this case. And then we're going to scale the scene but around a 3D point. So now when we scale, we'll see what's happening here. is you know this curve right here is our original above water one and here we're going to scale our underwater one and the purpose is to get these points here to line up and we can still trim a little bit here and now our underwater scene it locks up so we've got our underwater which again just has a scaling of the camera move so that it works properly. And then right here we have our original above water camera and that's working with the above water section.